Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude. I'm back for another video. Uh, and I picked up a lot of books. And I like comic books. I love comic books and everything. I'm trying to cut back. And I want to sell some. I want to give some away. And I want to do other things with them and everything. But so, I'm working at trying to read more. And uh, as I read more, just to know what the stories are about. Know what I really like. And if I can get what I really like, then I'll keep those books and then give the other stuff away and then promote some stories. You know, when you know something about something, you sit there and go, okay, I know about this, so I'll promote this. I really don't know about this, so I'm guessing on this. So I said, when I start reading more, then I'll be able to know more about the stories. And I learn a lot when I'm going through the previews, which I'm behind on that one. I got to catch up on that Marvel one. And there's so many new books coming out and I'm looking at this stuff going, I want that, I want that, I want that. So I'm picking up a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna show you what I got today and uh, the past few weeks. And I'm trying to get all this all in one video. So I'm, I'm trying to look at the camera more so I can see you, <laughs> so I can look at you, because I usually look over here. And then somebody commented and said, hey, you don't look at the camera enough. So I said, okay, I'll look over here and try to get it. It's kind of weird because I can't see myself. I look over here, I can see myself, but when I look there, I see you. So I'll try that. and. Uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, I'll probably look back and forth so I can see what the comic book is, and then I'll look back at the camera. Uh, I got these are my new ones from last week: Giant Size Amazing Spider-Man King's Ransom number one. So I thought that was cool. That looked really good, and it's a pretty it's a pretty thick book. So uh, I'm gonna look forward to reading this. I haven't been reading any of the Spider-Man. The only Spider-Man I've been reading is um, the new one with um, Spider-Man with, with his Venom, Spider-Shadow, and I was reading Spider-Man when he was part of King in Black, but I didn't read any of the other stuff, and I see Mark Bagley's been doing a bunch of stuff, but this is the number one, so I said, let me grab this and check this out, so hopefully this will be good. Uh, I'll set them over here, because I got a lot of books. And then I got this, Black Cat was doing really good, and some of the stuff that, how they wrote her in the King in Black story, I said, you know what, pick it up. So this is number six. I like that. That's a really co cool cover. So that's number six. I'm looking forward to reading that. And then here's Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade. I like this cover. So I grabbed this one. It's got Thor on the front with him. The variant edition, number three. So I like that cover there. So hopefully, if you're not reading these, so I liked the story when it was talking about how the Ebony Blade, it was something about it where you couldn't be a pure person you couldn't be a really good guy or good girl or something like that to handle it you had to have something about you that was kind of dark so you could handle the the ebony blade so i'm going to read exactly what his history and what his story is about so we can see or so i can see what's going on and i can talk to you guys about it so that looks really good so i got that one daredevil uh this is number 30. uh i'm glad i went back and picked up those issues because it, it's a really, uh, really good story. It, and it looks good. I'm just looking at the covers and everything. And I looked at the latest previews. And I said, I got to catch up on this. And I got to make sure I don't miss any of these titles. But this is number 30 right here. And look at this so I can see the book. And look at that so I can see you looking at the book. So <laughs> that's number 30. This will look real good. Fantastic Four. This is like the Spider-Man story where he uh, aged... So I'm thinking, this is going to be really cool. If they do this with a lot of different characters, or all the characters, uh, Fantastic Four, Life Story, number one. A Life Story 1, the 60s. So this looks good. I like that cover, so I grabbed that. That was cool. And then we got Gotham. Uh, this They said this was a popular cover, and everything. they opened it up in this black, black and white artwork. It almost reminds me of uh, Apple. Uh, what, what's the name of them up? name of the movie um akira so when i when i picked it up i grabbed that it's all black and white inside so i'll show you real quick but when i when i saw it i said okay i don't know if i like this but the cover was cool and i put it back and they said oh it's kind of going up in price or something like that because the cover is really cool but that's the, that's the cover there so that's cool and there's the back and here's the artwork inside Kind of like Akira, huh? If you haven't seen Akira, you got to check it out. 
the guy walking to that motorcycle. And then to see a live action Akira motorcycle, that's cool. I think I've seen one. I know I saw the motorcycles, the way they design those motorcycles like that. I'm wondering how they ride those. And just seeing it looks almost look like you get crunched in there or something like that. But a cool design. Here we go, Geiger number two. Pick that up. I like the cover, so I grabbed it. Go through these a little faster. Heroes Reborn, uh, number two. The idea of this looks like how they're changing everything around, making the characters look a little different, and uh, telling their stories and changing them up. I kind of like the idea of that, so I, I thought I'd pick this up. I want to check it out. That's number two. Ice Cream Man, I hadn't been picking this up. This is number 24, but the cover looks cool. So I said, I'm going to get the cover. So look at that. Ice Cream. What type of cone is that? Ooh. So very cool. This looked really interesting. Immortal Hulk, Time of Monsters, number one. Ewing wrote this too. So this looked cool, so I grabbed that. That looked really cool. This one's different too. Jules Verne's Lighthouse. This is number two, but it had um, Shadowhawk on the cover. I was like, why is Shadowhawk on the cover there? He's not in the book. So I said, let me grab this because it's got him on the cover. So cool. Peter Parker, The Amazing Shutterbug, number one variant. That's him changing or something into something there. So I thought I'd grab that. Patron Pot Project. Project Patron, number two. I like the first issue, so I bought it. Very cool. Nice cover. Love Diodato artwork, so I got Redemption. This is issue four or five. Nice cover. So, very cool. And I met this guy at Pack Rat Comics. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was uh, a signing that day, and they had an artist there. But when I went in, I said, hey, there's, a, there's an artist sitting there. So I said, let me go get my comic books. And then I'll uh, ease myself over there and see what he's drawing and see if he's better than me. And yeah, <laughs> he's better than I am. But um, that's not why I went away. I'm, I'm just joking. But um, he was a really good artist. I'm like, and it was a nice guy. His dad was there. And he was taking payments and stuff like that and working it out and s selling more stuff. <laughs> And I was like, um, yeah, I'll buy that, I'll buy that, I'll buy And I was buying everything he was telling me. So this is Red Shift, signed by the, the writer and the artist, uh, Ashcan. So you got the writer and the artist in there. That's the writer, and there's the artist. Uh, what was his name? Brent, yeah. He's really cool. I got a picture with him and everything. So that's cool. And I bought two of the covers. Because I, I looked at it, I was back there looking at it. On the, on the rack, and I'm thinking, that looks cool. And I open it up and look at it. I said, that looks really, that's really nice artwork. And I put it in my pile. I was like, oh, I don't know. Well, I'm thinking, I always try to get number ones. And I said, no, nah, I'll put it back for now. I said, man, if it's still here, I'll get it. And Scout Comics is coming out with all these different new books. So I said, I'll, I'll try to come back and get it. And then when I walked up front and realized he was the artist, I was like, yeah, I'm getting some of these. So this is number one. So I got two of them signed. I'm going to use one for a giveaway pretty soon. Once I get, I'm, like I said, I'm behind on my contests and everything. You know that. But uh, if I can catch up and everything, I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. I'm like, wow, it's really cool to see that. I'm getting help and everything. Everybody's word of mouth. And they're telling other people. And other people are seeing it. And they're jumping on. And hopefully I'm doing videos that's interesting. Like I said, that's why I put on the, on the bottom of all my videos now uh, my Gmail address. And if you have any suggestions or um questions or everything just send it to my gmail so i can uh answer them and if i can get the videos done that you want i'll, tr I'll try to get them done and everything because there's some stuff that i wanted to do that people have asked me to do and it's been a year or more and i haven't been able to do it yet because i keep doing haul videos and hunt videos and i want to do those videos too and then when i did the move that threw me all behind you know how things happen and you're like what I want to have to do, and I made a folder from all my contests, so I know all the readers or all, all the people that have won something before. I have your addresses and everything in that folder. And I have all the books that you've won and everything and different things I've talked about or, or worked with you. And I still have them on my phone as well and in my Gmail address. So I go back and all the stuff that people have won already and the people that 
have won recently in the latest contest that I have to catch up on and send to, I get your addresses and everything. And if I don't, um, I'm trying to send them out like one at a time. And when I do that, I'll catch up and then I'll have another contest pretty soon because I, I like having contests and it drives me crazy that I'm not doing them enough and stuff. But um, and the AOKs too. I got a bunch of books. I just got some books. Well, what did I put them? Oh, over here in one of these boxes. I got a bunch of books for uh, one of my viewers, an AOK. He wanted Artemis Requiem, and I picked them all up, and I just got to get them sent in the mail. But I'm going through, uh, Jessup, I've got your book. I'm going to get that to you. Um, and there's some other people that I'm looking on. Once I send those contest books out, I'm just sending stuff out, like the different people. Like uh, K. Titus in Japan, I send him a book every once in a while because he he reads the kids and stuff. He's a cool guy. He he's helped me out with a lot of different shout outs and stuff. And he a lot of people uh, join and subscribe my channel to my channel because of him. And anybody else that wants to do shout out, do that for me, and I'll do shout outs for you and stuff. But just thank you, tell your friends and everything. And like I said, hopefully the videos are fun and exciting. And when you give suggestions of stuff to do, then I'll do those and. Um, we can have fun watching the channel and going through these books because one other thing I like doing is like I like doing flip throughs because like I said I don't see that enough so and the hunts I don't see enough when people go to the stores I want to see your store too so if I can do that I'll do that uh, I've seen stuff where people have gone to their com comic book stores I haven't done that yet with me but I gotta ask but to go to the comic book stores those are fun and then to do uh, flip throughs and hunts that I like doing those but this is Shang-Chi versus the Marvel Universe this is a cool book so I should look at this I like the cover so I grabbed it yeah I want to read that too Silver City number one Aftershock so that's that very cool Spider-Man Spider Shadow number two so I like that I'm, I can't wait to see what uh, Peter is doing and if he's going to uh, stay bad or he's going to control Venom like um, Venom did, like the guy did Eddie in the movie. He's controlling him, making him a good guy. Or is he going to stay bad and they're going to keep going with that? Because to see this continue would be very nice. But maybe they just want to do a short story. But look how scary. And she's standing there with a butcher knife. And uh, really. So very cool. Looking forward to reading that. Then this one, I don't want to buy all these books. But... Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, it sounds really interesting, doesn't it? I've already flipped through some of the books and I've looked through the order pack and I'm thinking this is looking really good. So, uh, this is the prelude, the hunt for Han Solo. And the story, if you like Star Wars, you know what I'm talking about. You want to see the filler stuff. Like, what did they do to get to the third movie when they went to go find him? And everything is like, or was it, what movie was that? The second movie when they went to. Empire Strikes Back, and then when they went to go find him, and it's just, you want to see the feeling, and if it's written well, it'll do good, so that's cool, and then Stillwater, number seven, I wanted to get this because I've been, uh, I, I was reading it, and I want to read the rest of it, so that's number seven, and this is Stray Dogs, number four, I like this. So that's that, and that's a really good book. And I wanted to send a picture of my dog, <laughs> Janet's dog, our dog, everything. And I'm not sure if it's too late now, but they might have something up on a website or something. But uh, people send pictures of their dogs, and the dogs are in the, in the back of the book. It's really cool. This looks interesting. I was talking to this, talking about this book to the people that own uh, Pack Rat, and they liked the, the idea. But this is very interesting. Time before time. And if you haven't picked this up, check this one out. Because uh, it's funny where the kid, like I think I talked about it before, where the kid, and I even talked about it on the previews, where the, they, the family, the mother and son were fleeing from some uh, crime or something like that, or somebody was after them or something. And the guy took them back in time to the 80s before they had internet and the phones and everything. And the kid was all upset because, you didn't tell me they didn't have internet and everything. And they're like, okay, you guys are set. He said, I'm leaving because you got. <laughs> he didn't want to sit there and listen to the kid crying and arguing with his mother. And the mother was like, oh. But um, they had to move. They had to leave. They had to jump back 30, 40 years. So that's really cool. I'm gonna look. That looks interesting. And 
with what's going on with uh, something's killing the children. I'm like, I remember seeing that book when I went, I went to Michigan and I remember seeing that book on the shelf and I was like, I don't know if I really want something titled like that. It just seems kind of creepy, weird. I'm like, um, because it looked interesting. I'm looking, I said, that cover looks really cool. I mean, it's just scary and everything. I said, but I don't know if I want that though. And I wish I would have grabbed a few of them just to say, you know what? Uh, let me take a chance on that because it's number one. And that's why now, for sure now, when I see number ones, I try. It's Sometimes it's getting to a little bit of money because I spent a little bit of money tonight because there's so many number ones and so many good books out. So, and I'm trying it. And what you got to do is when you buy them, you got to read them because if you keep buying them, you're like, I bought 10 copies of this book and this book is terrible, but you never know. So this is uh, Walking Dead Deluxe number 15. I always get the Dave Finch covers. Very cool. I love the Arthur Adams covers too, though. I'd like to be able to get them all, but it's just, I can't do it. This one, I w this looked interesting. So I said, let me grab this one, Wolverine number 12. And if I read this one and like it, I may go back and get the other ones if it's not too late. But um, this is really cool. So I like that. I like that cover. And then um, those were all my new books. And then uh, I'll show you some of the other new books I picked up. But this is, I found this at Half Price Books. This was um, an audio book. But look at that. It's different. So it was uh, Batman's Great Myst Batman's Great Mystery. Uh, and it's got the Adventures of Superman. I paid like $9.99 for it. And it's got a, that's a side, another side, and then the back here. But that was really interesting. So it was like, look up in the sky, it's a bird that's playing it's Superman. First introduced in the four color pages of Action Comics, Superman took to the airwaves in 1940 in what would become the great greatest adventure serial from the golden age of radio. So I said, hey, cool. Because it's Batman's great adventure, a great mystery, 2348 to 21748. So I'm thinking, okay, that's that old. I'm like, wow. So I thought that was cool. I said, let me pick this up. Maybe it'll be like, you know, the old music and everything. So I said, I'll grab it. And it had it had all the DVDs in it, and everything. So or not DVDs, but it had all the CDs in it. So I grabbed it. I'm thinking, cool. And this was another book that the um, guy, Brent McKee, worked on that I met at Pack Rat Comics. He um Worked with Ian B Bertram and Corey Levine. They uh, worked on the book together. This is Bowery Boys, but they worked on the book together, and he did. He finished the book up, Brent, because he said that um, I'm not sure if uh, Ian had something to do, or they planned it, or something happened where he couldn't finish the book. So, um, and he signed the inside of it. Corey is uh, the writer, and Brent signed it down there in gold. But. Um, it looked really cool. The artwork in there. Everything. And I think this is Brent's artwork at the end. At the end. So it looks pretty good. It was 20 bucks. I grabbed one. And I thought that I thought it was nice. So I said, let me, I'm gonna pick this up. And I, I like helping out artists when I, when I meet them and everything. Uh, and another thing, like uh, coming in June, Lou Ferrigno is gonna show up at Pack Rat Comics. I think it was June 26th. I gotta make sure it's right. I'll put it in the description below or if it's not but I thought that looked cool so I'm trying to find incredible Hulk books and some of my or more immortal Hulk books if I can get some signed stuff from Lou and it's supposed to be $20 a signature if I get some signed books from him I'm gonna make sure I use some of those for uh, giveaways as well because that's gonna be very cool and just to get a picture with Lou that would be fun but uh, here's some of the other books I have that I picked up let's see where we at we had 19 minutes so I got The Amazing Spider-Man Soul of the Hunter. Got that from Half Price Books. This is Half Price Books part. And Brute Force, I picked this one up. Or did I get that at Half Price Books? Yeah, got that at Half Price Books. This one I got at the um, that uh, Antique Mall. Heritage Antique, uh, Heritage Square Antique Mall. I picked this up, Brute Force number one. So I thought that was cool. And this was at Half Price Books, Captain America Annual, number seven. Captain America, 425. Ooh, look at the shiny cover. That's cool, huh? This one, this is Blo the Bloodstone Hunt, Captain America, part one of six. So it's Captain America, 357. 
I um, looked at it at Pack Rat, and they had it for like for, I don't know if it was 25 bucks, something like that. And then I went to um, Half Price Books, and I found it for $10. So, was it 10 bucks? Either. Yes, I found it for 10 bucks. But this is number 357. This is part one. That was a dollar. And then I found number 360, part four, for 10 bucks. And that's the first appearance of, I forgot his name. What is this guy's name? Um, is it Crossbones? Yeah, first appearance of Crossbones. So I found that one. And that was 10 bucks. I was like, really? Cool. It was not in bad condition either. So I found that. And then this is number 362. I found this for a dollar. So I thought that was cool. Every time I find these books, it's just really cool to be able to uh, pick them up for a cheap price and everything. It's very cool. Janet found this online. I think I forgot what she paid for this though. Deadpool number seven. <laughs> the cover is just really cool. She found that and ordered that for me off of eBay. <laughs> Look at him. He's right behind uh, Santa Claus. What is Santa Claus is just trying to be all hearty and merry and everything. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas doll. And look at this guy. So, very cool. Dr. Afra. You know what? I've been looking at this. And I remember some of the earlier books. And I said, you know, Dr. Afra is pretty funny. It's a good story. Uh, she's a good character. and But I, I collected a few of them. And then I stopped. Because I was getting other stuff. You know, you get off on um, other tangents and different things. You go to different things and other stories. And I'm thinking, I should have been ke keeping up with this. But Star Wars, Dr. Aphra, and then they had the C-3PO, and then they had Chewbacca, and then they had all these other, um, you're like, uh, Poe Dameron. And then it, it was like, you got, I got uninundated. I'm thinking, I don't want to buy all of these. But um, I've been noticing, it seems like she's been doing, she's really tied with Darth Vader. And I'm thinking, with Anakin. And I'm thinking... I'm going to pick up some of these. I found these at Half Price Books. So I picked them all up that I found. This was number 33. So I grabbed that one. And this is number 37. And I like the cover. So I said, you know what? Grab this. Maybe I'll go back and get some of the other ones. But it looked very interesting. So I grabbed it. Here's number 37. And look at the cover. I just, the guy's got her there. So I thought that was cool. And these were $1.99. And then I found these, Fathom. These were at Half Price Books. Number one was, this one was $4. And this one was $1.25. They're both number ones. But I thought they were cool. So I said, let me grab these. Because I remember when they came out years ago. And I didn't buy them. I me remember meeting Michael Turner. Great guy. But I didn't buy the book. And I wanted to buy some of his original artwork. But I didn't. And everything. And you, you look back and you're like, oh, what was I thinking? But... <clears throat> So now I got them now, but first strike. This one's Hasbro comic book event. Rom first strike. This is a dollar ninety nine. And I checked it online. It looks like it's going for a little bit of money. When I saw number one, I said always grab the number ones, pull them aside on your speculation pile, speculation stack, and then see if it's worth anything. And if it is, you lucked out because like half price books continually puts out cool books. I saw Jessup half price crooks. Pick up some books. He got the first appearance of Miles Morales in the in the red ba white bag with the red uh, spider on it. I'm like, it just you never know what you're gonna find. You're like, wow. And he he was just pulling them out. And then because sometimes I've gone there and I've found stuff like that. And you're like, if you get there first or if you get there on a one day during the week, you never know what you're gonna find. And a lot of times, if you go on the weekdays, you get a better selection than waiting till the weekend. Because when I go on the weekend, sometimes and I try to do my haul or hunt videos, it's so packed in there. I don't want to film. And have people wondering what I'm doing, and and I'm getting in their way or something like that. So I try I try to hurry. I'm doing real quick. If I can get there on a weekday, it's a little bit easier. But let me show you these real quick. Here's Ghost Rider number twenty ninety nine. I thought that was cool. I picked that up at uh, uh, Heritage Antique Mall. Then this oh, this one I picked up at Half Price Books. I passed it up one week or two weeks. I said, you know what, this is the number one. Go back and get this one. Lobo Demon Halloween, number one, 1996. This is going for a little bit of money. And I paid a dollar for it. I said, you know what, that's really cool. Let me grab this. Incredible Hulk number 315. That was uh, $5 for that one. It was a little bit more money. 
not but not bad though jim lee this is like a spotlight on jim lee all the different characters he made the different stuff for his company and i thought it was cool so i grabbed it this was dollar 75. that was cool i like i like when they do the pencils and stuff and the colors it just talks about all the different characters and then i got long shot number two and number four that was cool these were like uh, th this was three bucks and this was four bucks right here very cool I never got the whole series of that before and this is I think this is Marauders number 15 Janet got this off a of line offline because she liked the cover and I said that yeah, it is cool grab that I don't think she paid a lot for it just a few bucks or something like that but she liked the cover so she grabbed it she's been doing a lot of that she's been going on and seeing stuff and go I like that I'm gonna grab that but that one that cover is really cool this is number Marauders number 15 so it's a really cool cover. Then I found Marvel Team Up Spider-Man and Werewolf, number 93. Marvel Team Up number 93. I'm not sure what I paid for because um, it wasn't a lot of money. Because I got a bunch of them and they weren't a lot of money. I was surprised. The girl didn't charge a lot for them. Because I, I found them and I picked them up. And this was before she priced everything. So I think she just maybe went 2 or $3 each for these. It went a lot. Then I found the Mighty Avengers number 255. This was a dollar. That was cool. It had Captain Marvel on it, so I thought I'd grab that. Then I found these. And James, you'll appreciate this, and everybody else who likes signature books. John Byrne. And who else is this? I'm not sure who the other person is, but it says Gary up there. But this is uh, Next Men number is that power part two of four just make sure i get that right john burn had talking there's gary or something up there that's not me and then we got another john burn with gary there i i can't i'm not sure uh, i forget who the gary is that works with him but uh this is number i'm not sure if it's the artist this is number four of four power and let me see who that is i paid Five dollars. She said, "You know what? Since they're signed copies, how's five dollars a piece sound?" I said, "Great, John Byrne. Hey, um, oh, here it is, Gary Cody, up there. Painted cover art by Gary Cody. So that's his name. There's the back back of it. There, that's the black and white John Byrne art." I thought that was cool. I said, hey, you got some couple signatures on it. Five bucks, cool. Got to have my signature books. And this last one here that's signed, Danger Unlimited, number one, John Byrne. Cool. Thought that was cool. And then I got, I'll show these real quick, because I'll try to keep this at 30 minutes. Punisher, number one. Silver Surfer, number 75. I like those covers. And Skull Digger Skeleton Boy. This looked cool, issue one. And then I had to pick this one up. Super Pro, number one. <laughs> and then I got these. These were at the uh, Heritage Mall again. Star Wars 3 of 4. And this is 4 of 4. And this one was at Half Price Books. Star Wars number 30, Purge. And I remember seeing a lot of these books that wanted the half price books I go to, and I passed on them. Because I said, you know what, I'll grab a few of them, and and you might even see some of the videos I did. But I didn't grab them all, and I was like, wow. I look back, and I think a lot of them were worth a lot of money. Especially the Adam Hughes ones. I, I passed up the Adam Hughes covers, and I'm like, I looked at them, and I said, these are cool. But I, I, said, I don't want to buy them, though. I don't, for some reason, I was like, don't buy them. And I'm thinking, why'd you listen to that? <laughs> so here's Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, number three or four. This was at uh, this is Heritage Mall. And I got two copies of this one, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, number four of four. Got two of these. Thought that was cool. These are like four dollars each. This was three dollars. This was four dollars. I think one was in better, a little bit better shape. Then I got West Coast Avengers, number twelve. This was three bucks at half price books. Very cool. Then I've had another copy of this one. This was four dollars. What if Wolverine battled Conan the Barbarian? Number This was What If's number 16. Very cool. And then I'll show you my last book on this video. Janet bought this for me. 
I think she paid thirty dollars for this. Nine point oh Spider Girl number zero. I thought that was very cool. I said great buy. Great buy, babe. She picked it up, and this is my first uh, graded comic book. And I never um, grade anything, and I never bought anything like that. And she thought it was cool, so she bought it. Look how cool that is. All right, that's it. I have a lot of more books to show you, but I want to keep it at 30 minutes. But let me know what you think, uh, and you guys have a great day. And I'll try to upload another one, but I'm getting it's getting late, and I'm going to probably do another one for tomorrow. But I'll upload this one tonight, and it might take a few hours to load because for some reason something's slow. But you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think, and Collector Dude is out. Collector Dude is out. I see you right there. Have a good day. Bye-bye.